have an unboxing here. Just is that Terry? You can't see me. No, I can't see Terry. Can you see Terry? No, I was gonna. <laughs> unboxing. I'm gonna scratch my forehead. Someone said that's because you cut your forehead because you. Anyway, it's not very nice, is it? Looking to the camera this time. So it's unboxing here. Oh, it's a helmet. This is a tie. Open a million dollar stash in there. This is a tie helmet bimola. Uh, they just gave me one. Said, can you do a review of it? It's a CEEN standards approved. So it comes in white or black. I was liking fluoro yellow, but hey, I'll review any legit cycling stuff. I like the look of it as well. And what I like about this product is it is just from first for some price point. Uh, coming out of the same factory as a large manufacturer in uh, Asia there. Um, the pads feel pretty good first off. Weight wise, feels, feels light but not too light. It's got a retention system similar to, similar to your Juros and stuff like that. The colour finish is pretty nice. They have a really good value helmet. It's a really good value helmet. They do ship worldwide. Uh, they'll put, we'll put a link down below. Bimol is the brand. Interesting word, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, several, uh, several try out, several try out. My favourite helmet colour is fluoro yellow, fluoro yellow, but white's not too bad. So it does fit, oh well, it, it's very similar, if you wear a Juro helmet, it doesn't look too bad, does it? If you, it's almost like those old Mets back in 2002, it actually fits pretty good. But helmets is personal preference, you know? So it fits very similar to a Giro or a Specialized helmet. It doesn't have the bell shape, but it has the Giro or Specialized. If I had to close my eyes and guess, it, feel, it feels almost identical to a Prevail, Specialized Prevail. It's got a good pad, it's got little nets in there as well for any bees, if you live where the bees are. So that's the, so this is, this is for my audience, the budget cyclist audience who wants the, the safety of a, a standardised helmet that, that meets the CE and EN regulations it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I think the price is pretty affordable. This is called the ST1. ST1. And how I fit a helmet is I always have these up here like that. Right? Have it up like that. Some people, you see, this, is, this is a mistake some people make. The first mistake people make with a helmet, right? some, people, some people put it on the backwards. I mean, it's, it, it probably works backwards, right? yeah, but it's actually got a really good retention system and I'm pretty impressed. So pretty helmet on the right way around. You can tell because there's like a you know front facing, rear facing. Rear facing is pretty obvious. So put your helmet on, you do it up, all right? Do it up to a tightness so you can put two fingers. That's, that's a bit too loose, all right? So some people you see and they have the little, this is what I used to do as well as a noob. They have everything down here, all right? Have everything down here. This is what you don't do. And then your helmet sort of like, it fucking fits really good actually. But you, you know what I mean? Like you have a lot of slop around here. So what you want to do, first up, is put these little anchors under your ears like that. See that? Boom. And then we're going to go to the next one. I'm trying to untwist them. These are a little bit twisted, I can untwist them later. And then, I'm going to take off these tags. Then put a knife next to your neck. And pop that one out. Pop. That's just some little, uh, what's in this thing? Oh, so there you go. This is basically what I'm telling you right now. The instructions. You don't really get instructions with helmets, but that's good. Coolmax hotline service. There's a hotline service. That's pretty cool. Hotline. So if you want to call them up, hotline. Get on the hot source. And uh, so you want to have it. So to turn it up tight. See, how, there's more arrow as well. So you want to have. I put my two fingers under there. It's not like. Well, it's like you know, sort of choking you. But so just back it off a bit. Two fingers, and that's sort of you know snug. And if you if you have if your hair grows or you shave your head, you might have to adjust your helmet again. But you want to have it snug but comfortable, all right? Not too loose, not too tight, just comfortable, comfortable. Another tip for helmets as well is clean them. I take mine in the shower. You clean the, the clean this. You can even stand in the shower, just like clean like that. And if someone walks into you and you clean and got your you're wearing your helmet in the shower, it might be a little bit awkward. Are the pads, can you take the pads out? Yes, you can. So these pads, they pull right out. 
There you go, that's the pad set up. So I recommend with any helmet, you want to change the pads, not change the pads, so you want to wash your pads out every, you know, every month at least. You know, you just chuck this in, put this in the sock, put it in the washing machine, let it dry out, you're good to go. If you just put it in the washing machine, it might get a bit chewed up. So put it inside a sock and there you go. Um, so that's good. That's the Bemola ST. ST1. It's about 270 grams roughly. So there you go. Let's just double check that. Is the right number? Yep, ST1. ST1. So that's the review. That's actually the best helmet. And I'm not, not paid to say this. This is the best helmet I've used. Worn. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Out of the box. Like, it feels expensive, but a very, very value packed price. I'll link the Facebook post down below, the Facebook page for them. But uh, thanks to Bimola, and uh, not a bad little lid. Always wear your helmet, gang. Always wear your helmet, especially if you're going down the door.